Hi there. Welcome back to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number 17, and we are going to learn how to forestall a nasty surprise that some people get when they first uh, turn their map into a city. They usually find out after they've created some of their city, and I don't want you to have that happen to you. So we're in the menu, we're opening tools, opening the map editor, going to load, loading up our tutorial map, and then by clicking on it, of course, and hitting load. We find ourselves in our map. Everything is done the way we wanted it. We think we're completely finished. We even go down and check to make certain that we've smoothed everything, <clears throat> smoothed everything out nicely on our cliffs. Our cliff edges look nice and smooth, don't they? Well, they would if I kept, if I stopped bump, bouncing around a lot. They would. See, all we have is the tiniest little ridge here on our cliff edge. Right along the edge here, just a tiny little ridge. That's not going to impede anybody's vision of that beautiful view, is it? Right? We can put buildings in there and it'll be just fine, right? Well, I'm going to take you over to the city map that was created by this and show you what happens if you leave it this way without taking one last step. Holding, and I'm just going to take you over to the other map and back just to show you something. Holding. Okay. Here is our same plateau once it's had a uh, neighborhood put in it. And lo and behold, check out these crags. Craggy cliff edges that if you have a little house that you're, you've put up here on this cliff so you can see that beautiful view I just showed you, this is the view you get. Oh dear, well, that's not much of a view. Even if you're back here in one of the apartment complexes, say you're right here on the almost the top floor, that's still not a very good view, is it? You've got those big nasty crags in the way. Well, and this is the neighborhood we're going to make later in a couple tutorials, but I just wanted to show you what happens uh, if you don't do one last thing. It's a nasty surprise. Okay, so we are now going to, I'm going to take you, put you on hold, take you back to our map and show you how to fix this problem. Okay, we're back to our tutorial map and like so many other things in our map, it all boils, boils, bleh, boils down to elevations. So we're going to bring this this elevation that we're working on out to the edges of our um, borders of the tiles that we have to use all the way along here and then we're going to put another smaller lower level just a tiny little bit in there so let's start with that we'll go down to our leveling tool and we'll pick our level pick our brush size And you're, go you're not going to use this bright black circle this time. You're going to use the diffused circle over here on the far left. And you're going to bring your cliff out so that it's as close to that road as you can get. So the f top of it is actually even, if you can get it that way, even with the border. Right along now, you can see the border on the top up here now. See, see the see the border lines. That's what we want. Okay, and then click and then clicking on the next cl plateau down, you'll bring that out as far as you can and down. Okay, and then clicking on the next one, same thing. Bring that out as far as you can. Then the next one, bring that out as far as you can there okay now we're going to go down and we're going to on for each level we're going to scroll it down like this go down into the plateau area 
You can see where, where this softer circle has made these little indents, but not everywhere, and that will not solve the problem. It'll make those crags lower, but it won't take them away. This next trick will. We're going to go to an area just a little below the crags, or a little below the top line. Right-click to get our new elevation. Come up here, bring our circle down considerably and make a small plateau area right here down below all the way around just on the edge we just want a small plateau on the edge over here where our view is going to be this is why this is why I had you bring it up past the city line because um, you, on a lot of this, you won't be able to get into that. Well, you won't be able to once you get in the city anyway. But the idea is to bring this cliff edge down just a little bit all the way around. Okay. Like so. And then doing the same thing here. You'll do the same thing here and the same thing down here on this one and the same thing down on this one. But I'm only going to show you how on this one. Then I'm going to fix mine and you can go into your tutorial and fix yours on the other three. Now that you've finished making the second little plateau below your plateau, you go to your smoothing tool, you know what that is, and using the left mouse button so you only smooth slightly, take it along the edge you might want to make it a little brush size just a smidgen bigger. You want to make certain you cover all the edges of of your um, crag area. Okay, so just smooth it out there along that area. Run it back and forth and smooth it out nicely. There we go. Get down in here where you can see what you're doing even. You can take your time. I can't in the tutorial, but you can in yours. And you will want to come in a little bit so you make certain you get all of it. So you don't want to you don't want to be here. You want to be over the edge of it like this. So that you're actually making certain that you get that crag, that invisible crag that is blocking the view. Okay? And you just take it all the way around like so. Smooth that baby out. Go back across it a couple of times. You still want to leave yourself room up here to put residential, so don't smooth it into this area, but you do want to smooth it out. You want to do the same thing down here so you don't have big crags down here sticking up into the view. Okay. There we go. Now you want to do that on each of these plateaus. I only did it on the one because I don't have time in the tutorial to do all of them. Um, I'm going to put it on hold now, do the rest of these so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. But you'll be able to do this yourself because um, you're probably masters at this by now as many times as, as we've practiced this sort of thing. Putting it on hold, I'll finish mine off. One other quick suggestion. If when you're doing your fixing of these and you've, if you're in your softening tool um, and you forget that you're not in your leveling tool yet, if you go, in other words, if you're done softening and you forget to go to your leveling tool, you're still in your softening tool and you come over here like you're supposed to once you're in the leveling tool and you right click and make a big indent. Don't try to fix it. Just say Control Z, and it'll on your keyboard, and it'll take it back for you. Okay. Then you can go down to your leveling tool and Control, and then you can right-click and get your level that you want to make your left next one at. Okay. Putting it back on hold. Okay. So now I have finished the top plateau that we that I showed you completely through. And the second plateau, where uh, if you were real quick on the pickup, you'll realize I made the mistake I told you how to correct right there. And then the third and fourth plateaus. So we have those all covered now. They're all smoothed out. And we can go over to the 
city, or we can I can post this and create a game out of it and show you what it looks like. So hold on, don't you don't need to do this. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like if I did post it and make a game that I'm going to delete immediately because I'm just going to make the map into a game so I can show this to you. Okay, putting you on hold. Okay, so we're in the uh, game that I create, or the yeah, the game that I created from this, just to show this to you, and we're going to go down into that plateau, that top plateau that we saw those nasty crags on that came out of our tutorial map, and look what we have now. It's all nicely smoothed out, and we have this beautiful panoramic view now, with you know nothing blocking it. And that's what we worked so hard to create. So why not have that for our city, right? OK, that's the end. Of, well, no, that's not the end of this tutorial. I'm going to try and get two more things in, and then we'll be done, and we can start making games rather than do two more tutorials. It's going to be real quick. OK, so now we are back in our tutorial map. We've smoothed out the cliffs over here and got them looking nice. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to actually put sand on our beaches. They're beautiful and they even have, they're even smoothed in down here into the, the stuff that's down at the bottom, but there's no sandy beach. I mean, where are people going to go to the beach? And it's going to get greener and as it greens up, so will these. And we want them to look like, you know, coral reefs. So we're going to go down here to the bottom and we're going to go to the uh, one, two, three, four, four, the fifth uh, icon over from the left, which says ground resources. Looks like three cubes. Click on it, and then click on the grass. Oh no, is that is that correct? No, we don't want that. What do I want? Not environment. I'm gonna put you on hold while I figure this one out. Okay, I found it. Sorry about that. It's not in ground resources. It is in sand, which is the second over from the right, or in uh, environment, which is the second over from the right. When you first click in, it is probably going to look like a blue thing of water, but if you click on the moose, you're going to see that it's sand. So click on the sand, which is the first icon, until it turns blue. It looks like a puddle of white water, blue water. Make your brush size relatively decent big size here okay and you want it to be diffused brush size so that it doesn't make a line okay and then you're going to just edge that up you don't want the whole up in here we're going to be putting buildings for you know people like a boardwalk you know along the beach if you've ever been to a beach with a boardwalk you know, with little stores and stuff for people to buy goodies at while they're at the beach. We're going to put things like that there. So we just want to put a little bit of beach along the edge here. Not a lot. And we want to cover our, our atoll tops with it. There, just, just along the edge there. People don't need a lot of room to play, but they have to have a little something, right? Okay, just pushing it in just, just ever so slightly. Don't need to do it much over here because let's face it, this is all going to be port side for the docks. This is the play area, so we're going to move it along here. And um, when we come back, we'll take it across any portion of this out in the ocean that we didn't get. You'll notice that this will make the uh, underwater sand show up better too. I'll put a little bit in there, I guess. Give it a little bit bigger beach. Not too much though. Okay, actually this part of the beach we can make it look bigger because unless they give us more tiles than nine, we're not going to be able to put any buildings out here anyway. Because um, we we can't get that part into our game. So then coming back, we're going to be going along here and making certain that there's sand down in there. 
and that the whole thing is covered. There we go. Okay, so now we have a nice sandy beach, and that's what we want. Maybe just for looks a little bit here, even though we probably people will not want to come there. Okay, so that's all covered. And one last thing that we're going to look at that you can take care of if you want to. I'm going to turn this off before I make a mistake. Um, I made a few changes to my map, and you can make them to yours if you want to or leave yours as it was. Uh, you'll remember that I just had a little piece coming out down here and down here, and this one only came out to here. I didn't have these roads right here running. Okay, this part was not running through. And I just evened it out so it'll be easier to put things in there later when we get into the city. And of course, I had that big, nasty uh, mistake in my road here. It's functional, but it didn't look good. So I just, you know, thinned that out a little bit there. And I think that was the only changes I made. Okay, except for this piece here coming in. So if you wanted to make those changes, that would be fine. Oh, also, uh, up here on the other side, really outside of the city uh, limits, I put in a connection with the freeway that's leaving the map. And I put in a connection of a freeway going up through here and around. It also comes across here from this piece that we had before and comes across where the waterfalls are. It actually goes across the waterfalls. You can do that. Um, and then it goes in each one of these plateaus, just a teensy little bit of it goes inside our city limits. You see that just that little tiny bit there on each one? Teeny little bit. That's just in case I should ever want to put anything out in here, like, I don't know, houses, commercial, whatever, I, people can get to it. Even though they have to drive out of the city limits and back in, they can do that. So I did make that change. And if you wanted to put something like that out there on yours before you make a city out of it, that this is the time to do it. So that's the end of this one. And uh, in our next tutorial, which is tutorial 18, we're going to start making the city. And that is going to be all kinds of fun. So go ahead and click up in the right hand corner, save your map, save it as, you know, whatever you saved it as before. Make sure that you have publish map in new game panel down here above the save, uh, clicked so that the blue light comes on in the circle next to it and then save and say yes. And you'll be all ready for our next tutorial which will be number 18, and we'll start our city with that. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope to see you in 18. Bye.